Hey guys, this is a tutorial that's just going over a couple of things that I forgot to mention in other tutorials and most of it's just going to be me talking and some of it's going to be all the stuff I forgot. Now you may notice my desktop's gone a bit weird, it's because I tried to install this thing that allows you to change icons and folder colours and stuff and it reset my whole desktop for some reason so anyway, we so can open up idle today to do our tutorial in the shell because it's a lot easier. <coughs> Now we have this open. We're just going to. I'm just going to go over some of the things I forgot to mention in the list tutorial and the slicing tutorial, but more the list tutorials. So, say we had a list, let's call it num, and we set it equal to uh, 1, 12, 56, 89, ah, that would do. That'll do. Uh, so, we've got this list here. So, we've got num, and, it, and it's equal to these numbers here. When it, my sister's been released really, really loud. Alright, I'm back guys. Uh, now, say we had a list like this, which has the numbers 1, 12, 56, and 89 in it. And I wanted to find out the minimum and maximum numbers. So we typed in min, like this. And we just put in here the name of our list. This is the inbuilt function. It gives you the uh, smallest value, whatever number list you have. So, give us here. See, 1 is the smallest value in our list. There's also a max command, which gives us 89, which is the biggest number on our list. We could jumble, we could jumble these up, and it still goes the same results. But yeah, there's no point going over that. So anyway, there's also a command called len, which stands for length. Now we put our list in here. It will give us how many elements are in the list. Where we count, there's four elements, so we should get the number four back. Yeah. This just tells how many elements are in a list, so this could be useful if you have a really large list and you need to know how many elements are in it. Uh, another thing we need to go over is the actual list command, which is literally list. And now say we put in here, I don't know, uh, Callan. What this would do is split this uh, string of text into different elements inside a list, so we just did that. See, each letter in my name is split into different uh, elements in the list. Well, that's quite a useful command actually. So, we see we have the num list here, which is 1, 12, 56 and 89. Say you wanted to set a particular element equal to another number. So say you want to set 12 equal to another number. So what we would do, we would type in num and in, our slice, in my slicing tutorial, I sort of covered stuff like this, but not in a wide sort of range. But anyway, so if we count along, we've got 0, and this is element 1, so we put in here 1. And we put an equals sign. And whatever whatever goes here is whatever we want to put in place of 12. So we say 43. Press enter. And now we see element 12 has been deleted and replaced with um, an element called 43. Now, say we wanted to, I don't know, de delete a certain element from the list. You could do an input command called del, which stands for delete. Then I think you need parentheses in version versions um, 3.x. So we put in here num, and we select element uh, 2, which is 56. Press enter on that. Num and you see 50, the element name 56 is now deleted from the list. Now I believe you can also do another thing, which is to delete um, a batch of elements. So if we just re oh yeah you can also reset a list by just typing the list name and then another list again. So we just set uh, a few elements here in another list. So we've got this list now which is num, and we have one two eight. Now what we can do is we can put del to delete and we put num two square brackets and then here goes the uh same sort of thing I covered in the slicing tutorial. So say you wanted to delete elements two to six. So that's element one, two, um five I think. So yeah. Put that in. Type in num, and now you see elements 
the elements between 1 and 6 are now deleted so 2, 3, 4 and 5 are actually being deleted from the list completely and this little command here which can be used to delete uh, large section, sections of um, lists. I think I went over how to use this section here in my slicing tutorial so go and check that out and you'll understand what it means uh, when you look at that and you can use the delete function with that to do stuff. Now what else do we need to go over? I think that's pretty much it actually. So these are just some commands you can use uh, some extra list commands and slicing commands you can use in Python 3.3 and hopefully you enjoyed our tutorial and I was just to say something at the end as well is I've been saying this for a couple of tutorials now but no one's given me any suggestions of what applications I can make so if you have any suggestions because my simple application explanation video um, people seem to like that quite a lot so I mean if you tell me what application to make I'll make it and explain it explain how it works in a video and give you a shout out and stuff and hopefully people, other people will enjoy it and use the application. I will leave the source code as well in my media file so you can pick that up. But please keep messaging me on YouTube, leaving messages on Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Tell me what to make next because I won't make it. Because I'm only a small channel at the moment so I haven't got like millions of different ideas I can take in. I'll, I'll make your application explain it in a video. But anyway, for now, that's pretty much it. So... I guess guys I'll be seeing you next time and